Hi, das war von Tesla auch aus US and I'm with my favorite technician again, former te Tesla <laughs> Ranger. So he's now working for another electric car company, cannot say that. But we had some concerns about the drivetrain and how it's gonna be hooked up and uh, we tell you what's coming out. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Okay, good. So we are, we, we checked actually the drivetrain, right? So we had to take some panels off there. Okay, first thing is to remove the rear diffusers in order to remove that plate here to get to the drivetrain. And then we had to take the diffuser off. And uh, JJ checked the drivetrain there, and there was no harm on the drivetrain, as I understood. We removed the plate, and now we see the third motor in there. And we're gonna check in the brackets now. Because when the brackets are damaged, and you're still putting power on that car, then you can damage much more. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. No hum, uh, check brackets, brackets are all good, all the mounts are good. Uh, you got one on the front, one on the rear, and one uh, should be driver side. Checked here everything under the car. The motor mount seemed to be not still okay. It's difficult to connect the steel with, if you create an extra bracket, it's difficult to connect the steel. Can, can we see something here? Ah, uh, there it hangs in. Yeah, that looks good. And this is, looks strong. It's really strongly supported. There would be thicker metal there. So, uh, on the other side, there's another side there on this side, right? Yeah, yeah. this looks good as well. Uh, okay, so good. Just with, just for precaution that there is nothing wrong on this one. And, uh, yeah, okay. One up here. And there's one up here. I'll break it, okay. Good, good. Thankfully, there's nothing seriously. A little bit uh, on the side, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 The dri driver side of the drive unit itself, where the, yeah. the motor itself is. Um, all that was good. Oh, that uh, was good. Led us to the face of the CV axle in the rear, uh, the actual drive axle to yeah. the wheel bearing at the front. Um, Any person? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Green. Uh, at the factory they apply some molly denim grease. Uh, it can dry out over time and uh, that's where that clicking comes from. So. Yeah. No, they're fine, didn't need it. So you put that molly denim, molybdenum, molybdenum yep. uh, grease in there. It's a great pot cleaner. Actually, I was working for a company producing melatonin and yeah. produced that grease as well. Yeah. So this, because uh, it's high high heat resistant, right? Yeah, also? high heat resistant. Uh, also has some metal content in it, in it, so it lasts a long time. This is actually from uh, UCWRG.com. It is uh, 64 slash slash 33 ms grease. Yeah. Um, has a slightly different purpose for, for what we used it for today, but it works. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> That's all it takes. He's also pretty inventive in the stuff there about what you can do in order to fix things. So we, we take the caps off there uh, and then we loosen it a little bit. Yep, loosen the axle nuts. The axle nuts. And yep. then we, the, you greased it, mm -hmm. right, and then put yep. it back together. The, uh, the inner boot is a plunge boot, so it's got some space for the axle to actually pull away from the wheel bearing. Uh, and then we were able to just clean up and uh, re-lubricate the face of the axle shaft to the mating surface of the bearing. Yeah, and then you said this is a very special 
uh, lock nut, right? It's uh, a lock double washer. Lo huh? Lock washer. Two piece lock washer. Two piece lock washer. Mm -hmm. From a German company, ha! Huh, not bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and uh, and that really locks it down. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's it's gonna feel like it takes a lot more torque to pull off. Uh, 245 newton meters. With <laughs> torque spec for the axle nut. Yeah. Um, comes out to about 180 foot pounds. Um, yeah. But it, it's going to feel like a lot more than that to pull off. Yes, <laughs> you I know. Uh, you you hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then after that, we did a test drive. Everything is fine. So, uh, and there's no clicking noise anymore. I have to be careful because my wife is driving that car and she does not need to get stuck somewhere on the road with uh, uh, the motor mounts falling off or so. Mm -hmm. And that's for us, <laughs> both of us, this is very important. Yep. The wife needs to keep driving. Yes. So for me, we, 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 can, we can deal with this, yep. but not the wife. So that was all. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and uh, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.